Let's go ahead and uh, work on this problem for balancing reactions. Our problem in particular is balance the following reaction. So uh, C3H8O2 plus oxygen with the lines. These are where you're going to, going to put in your answers uh, for the coefficients. Uh, reacts to produce carbon dioxide plus H2O. And uh, for me and my organization, I like to have the H2O on the product side. It helps me to see things. So I've written it down here in my first attempt to do this video. And I've already put my one here on the most complicated formula. Since this is a combustion uh, reaction, that's almost always the first thing, although there are multiple choices sometimes that work out. But for a combustion, you really want the one by the thing that is burning or going through combustion. According to the guidelines I've set up in the lecture outline, the next thing to do is balance the elements in the most complex formula, not balancing <coughs> excuse me, uh, any elements that are in uh, what I call one element formulas, because those we like to balance last. The reason that is is because if you put a number here, uh, it changes the number of oxygens on the reactant side, but it doesn't change anything else. Okay, so I've got a 1 times 3, that's 3 carbons, so I'm going to put a 3 on the other side in front of carbon dioxide. That gives me 3 carbons on both sides. I've got 8 hydrogens, and that's because 1 times 8 is 8. I want 8 hydrogens on the product side, so I'm going to need a 4 here, and I always check that 4 times 2 is 8, so I have 8 hydrogens. Now, um, so, so far I have 2 oxygens, and I have 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 4. I have 10 oxygens on the product side. Ooh, let's keep that on the page. And so I need uh, 8 more. And oxygens come two at a time, so I'm going to put a four here. Four times two is eight for a total of ten on both sides. So what I need to know to do now is go back up to my reaction. I need to put a one in here, a four, a three, and a four. <laughs> 